A historic St. Louis hospital is shutting its doors. South City Hospital, formerly known as St. Alexius, is closing after battling financial troubles for years. Our Justina Cornell learns more about the concerns surrounding its closure in Dutchtown. I'm going to miss it immensely. I really am. For 59 years, Donna Puckett neighbored a century-old center. She even dedicated a decade volunteering at South City Hospital, formerly known as St. Alexius. Everybody said it's part of life, but life don't have to be so cruel. Friday morning, the South City Hospital sign was covered up. It's a clear sign of its closure. My understanding is that the receiver was notified uh, earlier this week, Tuesday or Wednesday, and so they started taking all of the appropriate actions that they needed to do to notify the employees, uh, vendors, and other hospitals that we need to start transferring current patients. On Wednesday, an internal email said the financial deficit was deemed too much and obtaining other parties was not realistic to keep the 178 bed facility open and it would be transferring patients. I think it's going to take away a lot whenever it leaves. Because like I was telling my brother last night, it's going to be an empty building again. An empty space building a void in Dutchtown. This is the only hospital outside of the central corridor. This is the only emergency room in Southeast City, and it's another emergency room that's closing. Behavioral Health Response Chief Clinical Officer said it's sad to see it go. Over the years, St. Alexis and eventually South City came, became an expert in geropsychiatry, and so serving um, an older population, there's not a lot of hospital options in that part of St. Louis City, right? So that's going to be a blow to the community as well. They really kind of filled a safety net niche right there in that region. For Puckett, it's a pivotal place. My father was a patient in and out of there for probably about 15 years. As the hospital leaves, Puckett also takes with her the memories. I was thinking last night about going over and taking some pictures of the hospital, but I want to remember the hospital the way it was. Justina Cornell, five on your side. Right now, the alderman for the ward is working to host a job fair for those employees. For now, there is no exact date for the hospital's official closure.